Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of Dragon Ball Tori Season 2.5.2. I'm continuing basically directly where we left off last time, where I beat the Park Raiders and Queen Bee. Here I have uh, just realized that I actually don't have Kaoken times 2, which I do need to have that before I can use for the levels of Kaoken. So I was just kind of debating whether or not I want to refight Brina Cthulhu over and over until I eventually reach the next level of Kaoken. Now before we do that, I do actually want to use Kaoken times 4. Um, even though I don't really actually plan on using Kaoken just because it drains too much um, HP. I guess it would just be just nice to have just for consistency's sake. Um, so I guess I'll head over to the Crimson and then go bully go bully Brainy Cthulhu some more. But yeah, also I don't think I did revenge into mode Brainy Cthulhu, so these attacks are kind of new to me. Didn't even realize I was flying there. Also, what happened to my except? Oh, I switched the things by accident. Ah, well that would be uh, unfortunate. Also, these guys take like no damage. I guess it's Spirit Ball it is. So, now we enter into Phase 2 of Brain of Cthulhu. And I just want to say I definitely wasn't ready for what Phase 2 Revengeance Mode Brain of Cthulhu had to offer. Yeah, Revenge into Cthulhu, definitely a lot harder now. Okay, let me actually go false Super Saiyan here, because I'm actually having to try here. I mean, that does no damage. I actually have to go Spirit Ball. Although, kind of identifying which one is which is... Kind of a Herculean task right now. Alright, let me just use both and then get some pot shots off, hopefully. Or I can absolutely waste it. I think Powerful is the way to go here. I think I might actually lose this one here. Because it is, like, impossible to tell. And the thing is, it doesn't show up on the map, so you can't, like, use it like how you win, like, in Manila. Like, I can tell that the one that shoots the projectiles is the one that is, um, the thing. But he shoots projectiles so late that, yeah, it's really hard to tell. And so I'm kind of curious to see, how would you even do this with melee? Since there's not really kind of too many ranged melee weapons you can get early in the game. Or I guess maybe yo-yos, but I guess I'm talking about pure melee. Anyways, I guess I'll come back to that just a little bit later. Let's drink one of these, and then head up to the sky. And I think there's always a floating island above spawn, if I'm correct. There sure is. I don't think gravitation potions work like that, but okay. So I guess I will keep that in mind to avoid accidentally killing myself. Okay, this just Comper Vein. I probably should have brought one of those, um, uh... I should have bought a battle potion so that harpies spawn more often. So the reason why I was in space looking for Harpies is because after you defeat Queen Bee, Harpies start dropping Astral Essentia. Astral Essentia can be used to uh, make some new accessories as well as make some new weapons, so definitely wanted to hunt those down. So as you can see, it did take a little bit of a while for the Battle Potion spawn rate to kick in, but even after that, uh, the Harpies weren't really dropping the Astral Essentia I needed, which kind of did worry me just a little bit that I might have misremembered what the requirements to unlock it are. So now the Harpies are dropping, or at least one did. I was getting kind of concerned for a second because they weren't dropping this essence that I needed. I mean, the main weapon I really want here, or not even weapon, but the um, thing I want here is an accessory called the Earthen Scarab, which I need 10 essence for. Um, Destructo Disc and Misenko, I guess, are okay options, but um, I won't really be using Destructo Disc probably too much until we can actually make the upgraded version of it, which isn't till later. During my travels, I came across a floating island, finally. Got a sky mill, it's always helpful. So after finding the sky island, I continued on my journey into slaying harpies. Unfortunately, harpies are definitely a lot stronger than I remember them being. Well then, harpies OP, it seems. Of course, when I respond, I immediately went to the nurse to heal, and then went back up into sky islands because I wasn't actually finished obtaining everything I needed. Alright, we got all the stuff I need. I can't really spend any more time here. I guess I could, but don't really want to. And then I think we should have enough for, yep, the Earthen Scarab. 
take one of these, and then I also do want to craft our lantern, because that would be pretty helpful. Uh, just to kind of increase splite, splite speed and, of course, key damage, and it does upgrade it into um, another thing. Can't remember what it is, but I do remember it is pretty handy. Yes, the earthen uh, arcanium. Do eventually do want to get this. Um, I do need the earthen sigil, which I don't think I can make until later, and we also need prideful key crystals, which I think do spawn in kind of the desert. Not the desert, the underworld. I'm not really sure what accessories I want to replace with it so far, so I think I'll just kind of leave it. Now, the next thing, it really is the Skeletron. The only issue is I would like to get the Rocket Boots so I can replace the Sandstorm in the bottle to free up my accessory slot. Um, I could like go to the edge of the world to try to find um, Goblin Scouts, but the chances of me actually getting enough of those guys to spawn before the Goblin Army itself spawns is pretty low in my experience. So yes, it is officially time to start prepping for kind of the end game of pre-hard mode. Starting with uh, Skeletron. I of course wasn't really ready to fight him yet, so I just decided to kind of make an arena and just kind of preparation for doing him. Well, I just finished uh, building the Skeletron arena and I teleported back home, and so now really all I can do is just kind of wait until nightfall. I don't really think there's any more preparation I can realistically do, or that I really want to do. Um, I could wait until the Goblin Army spawns. I don't really want to do that. Um, hopefully this isn't a case where the Goblin Army won't spawn into like hard mode or like just before it. As I would like to have it for uh, for other bosses, especially like um, Slime God and Wall of Flesh. Who knows, depending on um, if I can actually beat Skeletron this night. You know, there is a good chance I could finish um, pretty hard mode this episode. Um, doubt it, but um, it would be nice just to kind of dip my toes into it. As kind of the mostly clowny stuff is uh, locked behind um, hard mode. And also a lot of the Dragon Ball Story stuff that um, people like to see, like Ultra Instinct and whatnot, is also locked behind um, hard mode. And I will say, I do kind of like, uh, you know, the further you progress along the game, the more you can see of um, the forms. So here we do have... Um, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 4 full power, and then of course Limit Breaker, and then even like completely non-canon forms like Super Saiyan 5. That doesn't even technically exist, but um, it's just kind of a fan thing. I also do have Legendary Super Saiyan 4 down here. And well, it does give you kind of a brief tooltip of what you do have to do to unlock the forms. Um, like defeat the Worm of the Sulfuric Sea, um, one to obtain uh, height in combat Ultra Instinct. Um, this kind of vague as Worm could mean the um, that um. What is it called like Elden Worm or something like that in the kind of the abyss of the sunken sea or it could be the aquatic scourge. I'm pretty sure it is the aquatic scourge and not the kind of and not the um that super boss worm that spawns only in the uh, abyss as that would be pretty uh, nutty. I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of um head over to the dungeon just kind of wait until nightfall. Um I probably should grab some torches and wood and whatnot and make campfires. I guess this could also be a pretty prime opportunity to kind of look for Goblin Scouts. That I'll kind of find any, but, you know, if I could, that'd be amazing. And which look at that. I actually got lucky enough for a scout to spawn. I'm actually not even sure how many of these tethered cloths you even need to actually get the, make the banner to spawn the army. It might be something like 10. I can't imagine it be too many, because scout spawns are kind of rare. If push comes to shove, I could always buy a battle potion to force more go uh, goblin scouts to spawn. Um, hopefully it doesn't kind of come to that, as that'd be pretty annoying. And another one, hmm. Lucky me. I only dropped one that time. Alright, so night's falling, so I guess I'll kind of explain my makeshift plan here. Um, I think the two weapons I'm going to mainly be using is the energy blast barrage or just the kind of spirit ball. Um, energy Blast Barrage uses up a ton of key, so I don't, so I want to use it sparingly, and so I'll kind of use Spirit Ball in between, um, in between uh, uses just to make sure that I have enough key to kind of use this. As I think the Energy Blast Barrage does do more DPS due to just being faster, um, Spirit Ball doesn't drain as much key, and I do think that I gain key passively, like even with Spirit Ball um, active. And so my plan is just to kind of like do damage with um, Energy Blast Barrage and then switch over to Spirit Ball um, just to kind of regain key. Um, the only issue with Spirit Ball is that, um, uh, as we kind of saw with um, Queen Bee, 
Um, Skeletron, I think, is also pretty quick too, and so using Spirit Ball to try to catch up to um, Skeletron is going to be pretty uh, frustrating. And so that's why I'm kind of hoping that Energy Blast Barrage is going to be good enough to kind of carry me. Also, I'm surprised there's no tooltip here uh, describing this as Vegeta's technique. Alright, so I'm pretty sure Knight has fallen, so let me just chug all of these real quick. And then let's get a move on. Uh, uh, Key Barrage does do some pretty decent damage. But it does drain key pretty quickly. Now I don't think I've actually ever fought Revenge Skeletron before, so... Oh, it teleports, okay. I mean, you can kind of see where he's going to teleport, so it's not too bad. I think I should switch over to Spirit Ball now. Okay, he teleports over there, that's fine. So I can kind of manipulate where he teleports, so it's not going to be all that bad. Alright, so we got the hands down. Um, now that's really particularly good because now he's a little bit harder now. Whoa, okay. Did not expect that. Um, okay, so he has like kind of a Queen Bee-esque dash, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, okay. This is definitely going to take more attempts. Okay. Um, I basically killed myself there, but, um, oof, that is pretty tough, actually. Um, Spirit Ball is just really slow. I think I might need to, um, I think I might actually need to kind of force the Golanar to respawn just to reforge this. As, um, mobility is going to be pretty important. Rocket Boots I would really love, and I think I could probably make Lightning Boots at this point, because I think I have the Aglet Agl of the Wind as well as regular Aglet. But I think I'll kind of leave that for, um, next time. It did do quite a bit. So I guess I'll kind of take a break and come back to this later, but I guess that's what I'll... I guess that's what I'll write down in my notes, is just to kind of force the Golden Army to spawn with Battle Potions. As I really do need more um, accessories at this point. So yeah, so I'll take a break and come back to this later. The next day. Alright, so I decided to take some time off to figure out what I'm going to do for Skeletron, and there is quite a few things I can move without the Goblin Army. I still do think I want to try to force it to spawn via just um, using battle potions at the edge of the world to get enough goblin scouts. But there are uh, some things I could potentially do. So the first thing is I need a flying nimbus. And to do that, I just need to go up into space and then get some clouds. Now I might stay up just a little bit more just to kind of get some uh, harpies as I do kind of want those drops but um clouds come first and thankfully there's an island here and while spirit ball is pretty good like we established um in my first attempt it is fairly slow that is a bit of an issue and so there's nothing i can really do to kind of remedy that i do have the wiki pulled up on my second monitor here and then looking through it kind of briefly there really isn't anything that i can get at this point that would increase like um i guess this would fall under projectile speed i guess Nothing really much I can really do for that, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. So like I did say last time that um, Destructo Disc isn't really going to be helpful, so I'm not going to try to get it. I might try to test it out and see maybe I can switch between Destructo Disc and Spirit Ball. Also, there are a lot of Arby's. And I just got destroyed by Arby. There are a lot of them, geez, there. But, um, it's whatever. I got mainly what I came for, so hopefully I do have enough. I don't think I have enough Calm Key Crystals, which, if true, would be surprising. No, I do. Actually, I didn't even pause my clouds. Never mind. Also, there is a piggy there, so that's pretty cool. I could have sworn it uses clouds. Hold on, let me look. I just didn't get enough clouds. I thought it used a 10, but I actually need, uh, 20. So I'm going to kill this piggy, and then I'm going to head back up. Um, it would be nice to get some more of that, um, essence. As I think I still do want to make the Destructor Disc. Alright, I think that's enough up here. So, going back, let us see. Now there's the Destructor Disc, but, um, before I get sidetracked, there it is, the Nimbus Whistle. And so this will kind of help out with kind of movement in uh, mobility, so I don't fall off platforms like I did last time. And then, before I... 
make the destructo disc, I would like to have an earthen. Actually, no, I already have one. Okay. So then, destructo disc it is. I could make the Masenko, but, um, beam attacks I just don't really think are really all that good in this mod. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I think I'll get rid of the energy boss barrage in favor of it. Alright, let me put this on. And then, boom, we have our own flying Nimbus. Doesn't have infinite flight, but that's alright. We don't really need it. I think that'll just be uh, good enough. And so now I think I will head over to the um, edge of the world over by the dungeon just to hopefully be able to get my hands on some goblin scouts. And uh, Skeletron's kind of like a wall in this mod so um, once we get, uh, not Skeletron, once we beat him, um, yeah it is uh, Skeletron, but once we beat him, um, we will unlock quite a lot. We can actually get the first official Super Saiyan form. I can increase my key by a lot even further. And of course that also unlocks the dungeon, so we'll also have a ton of accessories to get. And so after that, it's really just kind of what's next, like Slime God and then Wall of Flesh. And I could just not do Slime God, because I don't think he drops anything worthwhile. When I play through Calamity, he's usually a boss I skip. I guess since this is Revengeance mode and I actually haven't fought Revengeance Slime God before, it wouldn't be a bad idea to try like check it out. Battle Potion. Now this doesn't actually guarantee that these guys spawn, but they should be increasing by a little bit, hopefully, as I still think they are rare spawn. Um, it would be nice to see if I could potentially find a, a candle, but I don't think I'm actually going to get one here, so I just won't worry about it. Goblin Scouts. Nice. They're already spawning. Only one. That's going to be kind of annoying. I think you need 10 in order to craft the stand to summon them, so if you only keep getting one, it's going to take a long time. Alright, another one. Please drop more than one cloth. Two, I will take it. I don't actually... Oh, another one. That's fast. Two back to back. This one also dropped two, so we have five. Alright. Hopefully this won't take as long as I thought. I actually don't know how many I have back at, um, back at base. I think I'll get like maybe up to like 17 and then I'll stop there. Not 17, 7 and then stop there. And another one. Please be the last one. No, 6. You know, I could say screw it and then go back now and hope I have enough, but I don't think I do. Um, I think I'll kind of expand the arena just a little bit more. I was kind of hoping to be able to get enough Goblin Scouts before Nightfall so I can actually like uh, refight Skeletron kind of like now. I uh, don't think that's going to be happening, so I guess I just won't worry about that. Battle potion ran out, so I have to go and drink another one. Hopefully within this 9 minutes, just need one more to spawn. And I will say, I don't feel like the battle potion is kind of increasing spawn rates as much as I feel like it should. I don't know how much it specifically increases spawn rates, but I mean... I'm only getting like one or two enemies on the screen at one time. Now I didn't actually get the 7 I want, but I'm actually kind of tired of waiting. So I'm going to head back home, and then... Uh, just pray that I have enough. I kind of doubt I do, but um, who knows? Who knows? I can't even remember what it was called. It wasn't like, what, like Goblin Stand or something? Oh wait, I do have enough. That's cool. Only need five. Did not know that. Okay. So, Goblin Army time. Actually, before I face the Goblin Army, I don't really want all my NPCs to kind of die, so I need some blocks. Now, they shouldn't spawn all the way over here, but just in case, just gonna block them in. Gonna head over to the arena. Alright, approaching from the east. And I think after this, I want to head underground to, of course, find the goblin. And then I think I'll kind of increase the battle potion because I think that affects the goblin army, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so here they are. They shouldn't really be too bad as the structure disc is pretty good against crowds. So this should be a fairly easy goblin army. Although, goblin army usually isn't really that difficult anyway, so. Alright, um, did it say the Goblin Army is defeated? I didn't even notice. I hope it did, because if not, that would be very disappointing. Um, alright, so I'm going to assume that it did, and then I'm going to chug a Hunter Potion, and then I'll kind of head down. Now, hopefully he shouldn't be too hard to find, but I mean, you never know with these things. Oh, Bound Goblin, well that was fast. Give me your things. And then shop. Um, Stat Meter, don't need that. I need this. And I need this. Then going to teleport back up. Not going to worry about reforging now because it's kind of expensive. Alright, so let's put this in the crafting interface. 
Let's deposit this. I need to put this and that in there. And the upgraded boots, I can't remember what they're called. They're called Spectre. And then I can make a Lightning Boots. And then Frostbark Boots. And I think that's all I can do for now. Yeah. And I think you need wings to uh, upgrade these further. So um, we'll worry about that. And I think that's... Is that really all I can uh, make? I mean, it wouldn't really be too bad. Because, I mean, mobility is really important in Terraria. Probably even more than, like, kind of defense. But um, uh, I kind of... Yeah, I guess I could replace the uh, sandstone in a bottle because I don't really need any more. Um, this is okay for I guess defense, but I mean, I kind of want some more offense, more some offensive things. But I think I might worry about that a little bit later. So looking through the wiki, um, there's not really a whole lot of offensive things I could really make for kind of key weapons, so I guess I just won't really worry about it too much. And yeah, I think all that's left is I can now go and challenge uh, Skeletron again. I'll be honest, not really kind of feeling too hopeful, but um, who knows, maybe I can uh, clutch up. Oh, I need lava waiters for I can make Terra Spark boots. Um, I think I need to beat Skeletron because I need to go to, to the Underworld because I think you need like the lava charm or something like that, as well as an obsidian skull and other stuff. Um, let's see, any accessories? Shark Tooth Necklace is pretty good. Increased armor penetration? I think I'll take it, yeah. Just have it. Um, I don't think any of these are really all that good. Um, Tiger Climbing Gear, which I think I can make, I don't think is going to be all that helpful. So, yeah, I think I'll use the Shark Tooth Necklace in place of um, the Earthen Scarab. So I don't think it's all that useful. Alright, so heading over into the dungeon. And then I think I'll just stay here for nightfall. I did want to wait till the Goblin Tinker moved in, but he seems to be being stubborn right now. So I'll just have to wait probably till I come back. I think this is really all I can really do with the arena. So anything I do from here is really just going to be a skill issue. Don't really have a plan aside from just don't get hit. Um, phase one is pretty easy, but once he loses both of his hands and he gets into phase two, that's when it really becomes kind of difficult. I do know that there is a buff, I think, in Calamity that grants you kind of a Rod of Discord uh, potion effect, which would be really helpful. Um, but I don't think you can actually obtain that yet, so... Um, no point kind of thinking about it. Now, I accidentally pressed the kind of buff potion um, a bit early. So, um, hopefully, Night Falls within like the next five minutes and I actually beat Skeletron within the next five minutes, because that's been embarrassing. But, I mean, if not, I think I could... Probably be Skeletron without buffs. Just be a lot harder to do so. Plus, I mean, he kind of hits for a lot of HP anyway. So, I mean, if I am getting hit, you know, I can really only take, like, maybe two or three at max. Probably four with buffs. But, like, any more than that, then I'm already dead. Alright. Here is Skeletron time. And... Let's begin. Alright. Um... I think I do want to use Yamcha's Spear Ball, potentially. Although it's kind of hard to kind of focus him down. Um, now that I think about it, I'm wondering what is stopping me from just focusing down the head? Because, I mean, the hands aren't really too difficult to dodge. They're pretty easy. It's really just the head that's a problem. Okay, he's going to teleport, so let me move over here. Alright, um, we got that. I think I will use it. Let's spam down Destructo Disc. Focusing down the head. Um, he's gonna teleport, that's fine. Alright. Perfect. Um, okay, so whenever he does his spinning attack, I can use Yamcha's Spirit Ball, and that's fast enough to keep up. Um, I didn't realize he was teleporting. That's fine. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far. This might be the run. Need to get away. Yeah, I think maybe keeping the hands alive might be the best situation. Um, he kind of sped up there, though, so I'm not really sure. Um, let me switch back to Destructive Disc. I need to keep my distance.
Um, we got that up, so let me use that. Perfect. Um, we got one hand down. I think that's fine. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't expect him to come from there. Alright, let me move over here. He's gonna teleport. Is he gonna speed up, though? Yes, he is. Okay, I think I need to go for pure destructive disc. I can't use spirit ball. He's just too fast. I didn't mean to go false. Um, let me detransform. Doing good in like the not taking damage, but in the dealing damage, I'm kind of struggling here. Okay, he got his arms back. Hopefully that changes his attack pattern so that way I can actually kind of focus on damaging him. Yeah, his attack pattern is different now, so this is a lot more manageable, so... I don't want to go for his arms. Um, I need to charge a bit more key, so I'm going to use Spirit Ball just a little bit more. Kind of stay by him, and then we can just kind of whittle him down. He's going to teleport, that's fine. Alright, for this last 1000, I think I'll uh, use Destructor Disc all the way. I also would like to say, I want to give a shout out to the Calamity music creators, because man, they have really done a good job here. Spirit Ball time. Let's use this. Come on, we're almost there. Just 1,000 to go. Um, he's taking little damage here. I think I need to break the hands. Yeah, I, I gotta break the hands. Okay, so let me use uh, Destructive Disc for that. I gotta switch over to Spirit Ball soon, though. Yeah, I'm like out of key for Destructive Disc. Gotta use Spirit Ball. And I can't charge my key because it slows down, slows me down so much. Okay, there's his hand. He's only got like 700 HP left though. I can't use Spirit Ball anymore though. We don't have a lot of key left. So I gotta be careful with my shooting. And I'm taking a lot of hits. Let me heal up. If I can just whittle him down slowly, that's fine. Alright, perfect, perfect. First try advise you whether they're their abyssal treasure. Um, I could explore the abyss, the underworld swim with energy. Could also do that. Uh oh cool, Skeletron's hands. I usually don't get that. Alright, um there we go. Student key fragment, increase my key by a whopping at two thousand. Definitely will be taking that. And uh what do I want to do next? I think the first thing I want to do is I definitely want to unlock Super Saiyan. So let me drop off my gold. Um, yeah, I definitely do kind of want to unlock Super Saiyan. Let me put my relic down first. My right, trophy. Alright, let's look at that. And then I could face Deerclop, so I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever fought him before. And kind of looking at his items, I don't, I can kind of see why, so I... Not actually going to focus on that. Slime God is next, and I, he technically doesn't really drop anything that I really want, but I guess just to kind of do it, I'll just do it. Um, hand grown 
pair, hard grown pair, your key attacks have an 8% chance to shoot twice. That's interesting. Um, so I guess I could equip that. I'm not really sure what to replace it with, though. Oh, use the Hemo Touch. Let's upgrade to that. Um, I think I'll just kind of leave it, because while it's interesting, I don't know what I would replace it with. Armor Penetration, I think, is pretty good, so I'm not going to get rid of that. So, yeah. Just kind of deposit all my stuff. Uh, regroup, collect my thoughts. Um, I think I will try to unlock Super Saiyan, so... I at least gotta face a boss, and so I think I'll kinda do the perforators. I'll just take off, like, my armors and stuff, and then... Head over into... The Crimson. Since night's almost over, I would do I Cthulhu, but I don't know if that'd be fast enough. When this guy doesn't really rely on, uh, whether it's day or night. So I just need to die to this boss, is the thing. And then it has a 5% chance of happening. Oh cool, happened the first try. Failing drives you mad, it sure does. Alright, and so I'm actually going to die this boss because I don't want to fight him. There we go. Alright. And that is Super Saiyan acquired. Let me put this stuff back on. Um, let me refill my key from the nurse. And then... How much key do I have? 40 hundred. Pretty good, pretty good. And there it is, Super Saiyan 1, finally, the first official Dragon Ball transformation. Took a long time to acquire, but we finally got it. So now we actually unlock Super Saiyan, there's actually another form that I can unlock immediately after that. Which I'm actually going to um, do just kind of right now, so I'm just going to sit here until I fully master Super Saiyan. It's going to take a little while, but um, may as well just kind of do it now and get it out of the way instead of kind of worrying about it later. Alright, cool. Finally, we've mastered Super Saiyan 1. And so, in order to go into Ascended Super Saiyan, you just gotta hold charge. And then, boom. I'm going to assume that Ascended Super Saiyan is kind of like Super Saiyan Grade 2 that Vegeta had against a semi perfect cell. Although, maybe not because I'm running quite a bit. So, I guess maybe not because it does say here that you get plus 75% speed. So, I guess that's pretty cool. But that's not fully what I was going for, but it is pretty close, so I again still have to transform here. Mastery has been achieved yet again, so Ascended Super Saiyan becomes Ultra Super Saiyan, and I think this is the one, yeah, where you lose speed. Definitely anime accurate, I will say. I don't think I'll actually ever be using kind of these uh, Ascendant Ultra forms, because they do increase your uh, key drain, which you don't really want. But anyways, there is still more to go, so back at it again. Alright, finally, we have reached full mastery of Super Saiyan. And so, with that, we unlock Super Saiyan full power with the iconic desaturated yellow that everyone talks about. I will say it does actually look quite good. I feel like this definitely is kind of anime accurate. I do kind of wish that um, in Dragon Ball they did keep the desaturated yellow look, as I do think that's my personal favorite Super Saiyan kind of look. And I do kind of like that Super Saiyan full power doesn't seem to drain any key, so I can kind of use this as a base form if I kind of wanted to. Which I guess is kind of accurate to the uh, anime. But um, regardless, uh, yeah. I don't really know if I would kind of stay in this as a base form, because it does seem kind of um, uh, cheap to just be able to have a free Super Saiyan buff, you know? It does increase my key cost, but I mean, eh. I feel like Yamcha Spirit Ball still has such little key drain that it doesn't really matter, but the options there I've always wanted to. So I'm going to address the Goblin Tinkerer and just kind of um, reforge some stuff. I think I want to reforge my uh, these guys first, my accessories before my weapons, because I'm going to re be replacing them soon, but 11 gold to reforge this once is kind of annoying. So I think now I'm going to head down into the Underworld. Just gonna dig a tunnel straight down like most people usually do. Um, I think she sells mining potions at this point. Uh, yes she does, okay. Um, I think I'll kinda do it just like right here, just like quick like a uh, small hole there. And then yet again, just gonna be here AFK while digging straight down. Um, I guess I'll kind of explain the next tier weapons, um, and armor. So, with the kind of uh, next tier of armors, you need prideful key crystals. Which, of course, you probably deduced a uh, drop exclusively in the Underworld. Um, I do need to head over into the dungeon. I haven't done that because that also drops a unique uh, material that I also do need to kind of craft um, some other weapons and armors and whatnot. Uh, but thankfully, there is kind of a 
pretty substantial jump in power that I can kind of obtain now with kind of just massively increasing key and whatnot, as well as just kind of weapons and stuff in general. Old Shaking Chest. Uh, I'm actually not really familiar with that NPC, or if it even is an NPC. But if it could stop jumping down, that'd be nice, because it might despawn. In a sense, it's friendly, but I actually can't... I can't do anything with it, because I don't have keys. Hmm. Unfortunate. And finally, we've actually made it down. And then, of course, I need to immediately head back up, because there's... It's not really much I can do here. I guess I could farm uh, enemies here, but I think I will um, explore the dungeon first. I think I'm going to kind of do that um, another time. I think the first thing I want to do is I do want to make sure that this thing is straight, so hopefully I fall down and I don't actually hit anything. But yeah, I feel like I did kind of accomplish a lot in this kind of little session here. And so next time I think I'll kind of explore the dungeon and then hopefully um, tackle Wall of Flesh. And of course, bats are here to ruin everything. Yeah, I think I might grind, um... I'm probably just gonna grind the underworld enemies off camera since it's not really too interesting to do. I guess I could also build in a little wall of flesh arena too, so that we can just kinda jump straight into it. And so I think I'll kinda come back to this tomorrow. I did feel like I did make some good progress, so 